the efficiency of the walking is around an order of magnitude better. It's approximately 10 times more efficient than most of the dynamic locomotion that's been seen. I'm Aaron Ames, we're at the DARPA Robotics Challenge Finals and we're looking at the humanoid robot Duris. What's, what's unique about this robot is the combination of hardware development, development and breakthroughs that have occurred in its design along with the algorithms running below the surface. So really what's key about this is dynamic and efficiency all coming together in a symphony of sorts. So at the hardware level, there's a lot of efficient elements from the actuators to the, to the gearboxes to everything up the chain. And very importantly, there are actually springs under the ankles that absorb the shocks of impact and rebound that back into the system. And that couples with the control side. So at the control side, we're realizing highly dynamic locomotion behaviors and controllers utilizing formal uh, representations of the system coupled with the practical interfacing with the hardware. So it's important to differentiate this robotic walking from a lot of the robotic walking that will be seen throughout the competition. So everyone will notice the, the robots tend to hunch down and walk in a very slow and controlled fashion. So it's very non-human-like to walk like this. And that's not what we want robots to do. We want them to go where we go and do what we do, right? So the difference here is we're no longer using these sort of pressure notions that these other algorithms build around. That's part of it for us. But really this utilizes the whole dynamics of the robot and utilizes in a way that, that, that's formal and complete. So we can really leverage the capacity of the robot. That's the difference. We're not utilizing some simple uh, subset of what is possible, but we're branching out into really capturing the entire dynamics of the system. And that just night and day. I mean, you can see this walking, and if you look at the other walking you're going to see, there's no comparison. The efficiency of the walking is around an order of magnitude better than the Atlas robot built by Boston Dynamics. What that means is it's approximately 10 times more efficient than most of the dynamic locomotion that's been seen in the past. So what it's doing now is walking. So what's interesting about this is that this is our slow walking. So this is faster than pretty much any other robot out there walking, but it's slow walking and it's only the start of what we can do with dynamic and formally rich control methods. So the idea is to go further now. We want to walk faster. We want to walk more efficiently. We want to run. We want to basically have robots move like we think they should. We want them to move like us. And, and really bridge that gap between human efficiency and dynamics and motion and robotic movement. So during the finals, we're gonna be demonstrating the efficiency of this robot. So the idea is to have it run for a very long time in a very efficient fashion. So we wanna demonstrate that we can achieve these efficiency numbers 10 times better for over an hour potentially walking on the treadmill on a continuous battery charge. So this has everything on board. There's no power cables going into it. There's nothing coming in from the outside. So we want to walk for over an hour on a single battery dynamically with this robot. Now what's next for this robot is again, better, 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 faster, faster, faster. So we want to have much more natural foot behavior with the feet. We want to have human-like heel-toe contacts. We want to have walking speeds that are more dramatic. We want to have dynamic movements to the left and right. Really, this fluid motion, we want to bring it all together and have robots just demonstrate spectacular, beautiful, dynamic things.